Hi there, this is Federico from Joling and today we are talking about Tabor and uh, not specifically about the model because I made a little bit of content about it already but we are trying out a patch that I saw online from uh, I don't remember uh, who made it but maybe I'm writing that down in the description if I found the video again and this person was using Tabor as an FM source for another oscillator and with tracking the, the other oscillator it was almost like tracking Tabor so Volper Octa let's try it out because it was quite kind of interesting so let's take the double Z output that is the most uh, uh, kind of soft one in Tabor then the output from the even VCO let's take a sine wave Okay, now Volper Octave Control for the even VCO. Let's use the Chaos. Okay, now we have set up our Chaos and our even VCO while using Tabor as a sensor. Let's modulate a little bit this cool guy here. As you can hear, the output is a, almost a uh, Volper Octave Tabor, if we can call it this way. But if you are a fan of, I don't know, of Jolin, you already know that I'm not a big fan of tracking down stuff. Volper Octave, that's not my philosophy at all, but I mean, this way you can use Tabor as a standard oscillator I mean, of course it's kind of it's a it's a trick it's, it's a cheat you're cheating but let's use the even output yeah more output together I want to hear so the sign combined with the even Let's use also the tier output into the hard sync input. Let's take all the modulation out of Tabo. Won't use it raw. Let's see. Should be interesting. Let's see. It's 
so this clock input is going into the cows, CV output from the cows into the volt per octet input of the even, FM input of the even is from the ZZ output of table, and the TR output of table is going to the hard sync of the even display. So I want to do something like that, a little bit of routing. I want this output to go into the input of the reverb. Like this I'm using singly uh, as a standalone module with the switch this way. So now let's go back in, no, this is from the output here. Now we can go back to our tutte sempre. Let's modulate the VCA of the sample to create a stereo effect. I really like to interrupt uh, a long tail of a reverb with a VCA at the end. Create this airy and special vibe to it. Want to go a little bit further with this patch, so let's take this individual output and plug them into the input of the monsoon. And this output is going to our to another channel of Tutto Sempre. Modulate, I'm gonna modulate this monsoon. Monsoon uh, is a redesign of a cloud with a CV control also on the blend parameters. That's really useful. It's a model that really asks for modulation, so at least density, size, texture. I think that we can go back and modulate our tabor again. Kind of out of patch cables, but we're gonna bring this home. Again, some let's close the loop. I'm out of triangle waves. No, die. No. Okay, so let's use some square, some squares.
Now I want to take this output again and use it in the resonator input of elements. they are all in chain so I need to boost the signal from the elements with the goggles. Four channel, I think that's going to be enough. I think that maybe more. Eight. Yeah, I think that we covered it and we went a little bit further away from, from the patch, but yeah, we're just here playing and enjoying the music. So I hope that you enjoyed it too, because I liked at the, at the end from most of it, uh, like how sounding. Um, this was Tabor as an FM source for another VCO. Uh, let me know if you have ideas for other patch that you would like to know to try and yeah federico from jolly bye